Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sid Schumann. Hey everybody, how's it going? Good, good uh, PlayStation experience so far? Having fun? Excellent, that's what matters. Uh, so, uh, one heck of a showcase there, and I'll tell you, I did not see our next game coming. Uncharted The Lost Legacy, that, that trailer, uh, I think like a lot of you, really caught me off guard. It did not seem what I associated with being Uncharted, but I think we're going to learn a little bit more about what in, went into it. So I want to introduce uh, our guests uh, from Naughty Dog. We have Josh, Sean, and Kurt, and Claudia, and Laura, our lead actors. Welcome. Okay, I mean, that was, uh, that was a one heck of a way to kick off PlayStation experience. I mean, what's been, what's been going through your guys' head? I mean, this is, this is an epic sort of unveil for you, Uncharted The Lost Legacy. What, what do you think of the reaction you saw? Oh, we loved it. Awesome. <laughs> Incredible. I think every beat landed. Like, we were trying to be a little coy with, you know, who's starring in this DLC, and I think everyone cheered at the right moment, and yeah. it was good. The I, was I, I was there. It was awesome. Yes. I was watching the message boards as it was going on. I was saying, like, <laughs> what game is this? Is this The Last of Us 2? Is this whatever? So timed out perfectly. So glad you all liked it. <laughs> yep. What about our actors down here? What do you guys think? Oh, hey. What's going on? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding? We're so excited. It sucked to not be able to say anything about it for the last, you know, a few months. Long time. Yeah, I haven't told my kids. It's hard. They're at an age now where they notice everything, and I've had to lie to them for the first time, and it was worth it because it was <laughs> great to feel the reaction in the room live. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to finally be able to talk about it too. <laughs> always, always. So I guess one thing uh, that instantly stood out to me is that we're having Nadine, one of my favorite characters from Uncharted 4, is back. <laughs> and Chloe, one of my favorite characters from all of Uncharted, is also back. And I'm kind of curious how, uh, how you guys came to land on this, this sort of premise, this setup. Uh, well, we explored a few different options with the, the cast that we had, uh, different storylines, and this one just kept standing out. Simple as that, you know, it was a great story. Uh, it's going to get even better as we dig deeper into uh, Chloe's past and what made her Chloe that we love. Yeah, it's kind of, a, it's kind of an interesting challenge because uh, we explored a lot of uh, different uh, avenues, a lot of different characters and possibilities. And one of the things that's really nice about the Uncharted games and the action-adventure genre in general is that it sort of lends itself to sort of these little uh, side stories that uh, explore other aspects of like the uh, characters' lives and whatnot. And we knew we had sort of like uh, put a, a nice shiny bow on uh, Nathan Drake's story and uh, we were just thinking like, you know, who, who are some of our favorite characters and who would we like to explore a little bit deeper? Just the idea of the chemistry of Nadine and Chloe together, just it gets the gears turning and it was like exciting to think about the prospects of where that relationship could go. Now is this set, um, I mean this is just sort of a selfish question, I'm super curious, is this set before Uncharted 4, is this set after Uncharted 4, what does this fit into the timeline? Uh, it's definitely after Uncharted 4. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Good choice, yeah. excellent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and I guess another question I've got is, is, are you guys kind of approaching this like kind of a DLC story add-on? or is, I, I, mean, I know Left Behind was more of a standalone experience. How are you coming at the Lost Legacy here? All right. It was started as a DLC, um, but uh, we couldn't find, like we needed longer time for the story to, to develop. And uh, I would say now it's a story expansion. That's how we're terming it. It's a standalone it. experience. Yes. Um, yeah. Longer than Left Behind, shorter than Uncharted right. 4. Like somewhere yeah. between those. So two. beefy. It's beefy yeah. here. Yeah. It's, it's It'll fall beefy. somewhere in there. <laughs> it's, a a beefy stand, it's a beefy standalone game. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. And um, I, I'm kind of curious too because you know, what we saw looked incredible. But it didn't necessarily have all of the harm marks that I, I normally associate with Uncharted. Um, and so I'm kind of curious how you guys sort of landed on uh, this as the way to uh, unveil the game. Uh, well, this is actually the beginning of the game uh, where 
Nadine and, and Chloe has to go into this war-torn city to get a clue uh, that leads them on their journey. So this is just the beginning, it's just the tip of the iceberg on this one. Yeah, it's not the only setting for the game. We go, we have contrasting setting later. We don't want to spoil too much about locations, but it is definitely all the hallmarks of an Uncharted game in this. Yeah, you're going to have all your, all of your classic uh, climbing, running, jumping, shooting, death-defying escapes that you've kind of come to expect from the series, except this time you're going to get to be uh, doing it as Chloe with uh, Nadine at your side and seeing the cool uh, relationship develop between the two of them. It's awesome. So Claudia, actually, Chloe, such a huge fan favorite. Um, are you excited? Like, what's uh, what's going through your head now that uh, Chloe's back? And I'm sorry, I can't hear you because of all the excitement in the room. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Awesome. I love you guys too, and I love Chloe. She's all-time favorite character. You know, one of the greatest I've ever had the the honor of playing. Sorry, what were you asking me? How do you, like, how do you kind of get back in character, I guess? Uh, it's been, we haven't seen Chloe now for a little while since Uncharted 3, but is there anything particularly that you do to sort of get back into sync with the character of Chloe? Well, it's a really good question because I don't think we're the same people a few years on. So that was a fun conversation to have, you know, what's happened to her and where has she been and what part of her internal landscape has changed and how is she going to be in relationship with people because that's always, always been a bit of a challenge for Chloe because uh, she always sort of, when we first discovered her, she really liked to work alone and her journey was having to learn to, to, co to cooperate um, and be a bit of a team player. Uh, so it's fun, there's, a, there's a, a lot of heart in this and there's a lot of interesting backstory about Chloe, Chloe that gets revealed and um, it's just a pleasure to work with these guys again because they're story and character focused and for actors that's just an absolute dream. Laura, how about you with Nadine? I mean, just speaking personally and selfishly here, one of my, <laughs> one of my favorite all-time gaming characters, I think. Uh, Nadine is so special, she's so distinctive. Um, what is it like for you? Did you expect to be coming back for more after Uncharted 4? Oh, I had no idea. No, but I knew when we were shooting Uncharted 4, there was just so much more to her character that we didn't get to explore. And so when they called me and let me know that this was happening, I was jumping up and down, just so excited to get to get back in it and actually show more of where she came from and her thought process. And this interaction between the two is just so wonderful because she's so businesslike and so focused and Chloe is just not. <laughs> it's the best interaction to see them trying to work things through. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think that's a great point. You know, the two characters are definitely, uh, I think there's a bit of a contrast between yeah. them. So how, how are you guys approaching uh, the relationship between uh, Nadine and Chloe? Well, I mean, so much of it is in, it's in the writing. And what's amazing about these guys is they, they hire people who are going to work well together for a long period of time. And so it, it, you can have the most villainous characters in their franchise and the kindest actors playing them. So it's a very interesting juxtaposition playing with Laura on set and then engaging. You know, we just get to experience the contrast of who, how our characters interact as opposed yeah. to how we interact, because we're really goofy and silly together. <laughs> the first day we showed up, I had never met you before. And so the first day we showed up on set, it was just instant. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, cool. It's like, it's sort of like Nolan's here because we get to have a lot of fun, but it's not as annoying. So we can actually... <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> he, he'll, he'll be fine with me saying that. That's totally... <laughs> he and I are... Just a few less dick jokes, that's yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. 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 I think it's fine. <laughs> so this question, I guess, is for everybody. Are there any fun anecdotes uh, that came out of, of shooting this sort of reveal trailer here for PlayStation Experience? Mm. Mm. Man. <laughs> It's <laughs> a hard one. Apparently not. No. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. No. No, it was just exciting to uh, get back behind uh, doing another uh, little uh, Uncharted story with uh, everybody and, uh, you know, kind of peeling off what they were saying. Uh, one of the fun things about uh, working with these characters and uh, these characters is uh, that um, a lot of the stuff that develops in the story is just a result of the interplay that, uh, and the chemistry that these two have. Mm. So we have specific ideas that we want to explore, but then they come up with their own stuff on their own. So we often make 
improvising or making little adjustments as we go along. So, you know, we came up with some unexpected stuff on the stage that uh, you saw in the demo there. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about the setting, too, because um, I was actually a little slow on the uptake when I saw it, and I learned a little later. The game actually is, uh, at least this part of the game, is set in part of India, if I'm not uh, mistaken. All of so, it. All, the whole game is? Oh, cool. So, kind of curious about that. Um, did you guys do a lot of research? Uh, you know, what made you sort of uh, settle on that, that part of the world? Well, firstly, Chloe's half Indian, so sure. it was good to go back to her route. Uh, and we're exploring at least a deeper part of her character than was previously explored. Uh, plus, India's got really nice, you know, iconography and hidden temples and weird deities that we can play off of. So it was a perfect setting for the game. So. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, uh, if you look at a uh, reference from, you know, South India, rural parts, it's like, it's, it looks like an Uncharted game already. <laughs> gorgeous mountains, Easy. rivers, and you kind of get all these, you get excited about wanting to play in that space. Plus we get, yeah, all the, like, the great temples and this kind of classic Uncharted stuff uh, available to us as well. So yeah. It's one of the places uh, Nathan Drake hasn't been yet, so you know, there's still a lot of stuff still standing that hasn't collapsed <laughs> or been blown up, so uh, you know, give them a chance to do it now. Josh, uh, from your perspective, uh, you're writing the game. Um, yes. Are you? Did you really dig into sort of some of the background of the mythology of, of India to get a better handle on it, or, or sort of research some of the locations, or what's your what's your approach? Well, it's been a very a close collaboration with Sean and myself. Sean's also uh, doing a good sh portion of the writing, and uh, yeah, you know what we're doing is uh, looking doing a deep dive into a lot of the uh, mythology and the um, and particularly uh, Hinduism. And uh, you know, for me, it's something that I studied ages ago when I was in college, like I was a, I was a history minor, and you know, who knew that that would actually come in handy someday? <laughs> um, so it's, that's for me has always been one of the fun parts of uh, working on the Uncharted games, is like learning about all these different cultures and things like that, you know, sure. prior to writing characters that get, then go and try to take stuff. But <laughs> even still, um, yeah, there's a lot of fascinating work, and we're going to be incorporating a lot of that stuff into the story. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I know wide linear, which I love as a term. That was something uh, Naughty Dog kind of came up with uh, uh, to describe uh, the, the sort of style of gameplay in Uncharted 4, and I think it fits perfectly. So are we still going to be seeing that wide linear approach at work here in The Lost Legacy? Yeah. Uh, it's, I would say we're going even a little more wide than wide oh, linear my. this time. Um, don't want to give, again, don't want to give too much away, but it's something we're excited about uh, on the gameplay side, this yeah. kind of contrast of you know, an urban setting and a rural setting and a tighter experience and a more open experience. So, and it ties with the story and all this stuff, but uh, it's, so yes. Yeah. And Chloe's the best driver in the business. <laughs> so best we'll driver. have some driving around. Best, best driver <laughs> in the business. Yeah, really taking a lot of stuff that we developed for Uncharted 4 and like just expanding on it as much as we can. That's great. Uh, what are you personally uh, most proud of from the reveal trailer? I mean, is there a detail or a moment uh, that any one of you uh, is particularly just proud of how it, it, it pulled off? I think the, for me, it's the, the, the reveal of Chloe. <laughs> that, you know, the, the audience, you know, they kind of guessed it, and then they were curious for a bit, and then, the, you know, the response was just amazing. Did anyone think, did anyone see her, that person and think it was actually Chloe? Three people. <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah, there was a yeah. lot of preparation, and, and, and there's a lot of internet stuff that can leak and things like this, and we wanted to make sure that yeah. this was a surprise that we're going back to Chloe and yes. uh, people can get excited about it. So successful that that happened, and stress is relieved, and <laughs> people can get hyped now. Yeah. I mean, I'm proud of the entire team for uh, pulling it off. Like, a lot of the... Uh, as with a lot of our demos for uh, things like this, uh, this takes a, an extraordinary amount of work uh, to get it ready on time and like looking good. So everybody really pulled together under uh, Sean and Kurt's direction and uh, really made it happen in a uh, ridiculously short amount of time. So uh, you know, hats off to them too. Yeah, yeah. awesome team at Naughty Dog. The, those guys are one person cheering <laughs> for Naughty Dog at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I mean, obviously, what we, what we saw here earlier today, and I can't stress enough, I had no idea it was Uncharted. 
I think the rickety ladder was my first clue that maybe, I'm a little <laughs> slow on the update here, but I saw that ladder wobbling around. I said, I, that, this might be an Uncharted game, I'm not sure here. But do, are you guys looking at this as sort of a new direction for Uncharted? Is this uh, a different style, a different tone? Like, uh, I'm kind of curious as to how you're uh, approaching that. Yeah, I think it, it, it'll do that naturally because of the story itself. It's, you know, it's Chloe's story, it's not Nathan Drake's story. Uh, so some of the tone is shifting, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, will it change completely? I don't think so. It would be you know, bits of both. Like It would be tonally different, but within the same context of the Unchar Uncharted world, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just by nature of it being Chloe, it's going to be different. Yeah. Like, everything's built around her, so just mechanically, she's going to move a little different. She's going to, like you see in the demo, you know, she's taking cover in a different way, and like, mm -hmm. everything is geared towards her. So a lot of work has gone into just making all the mechanics and everything work for Chloe. I know she has a very different fighting style than Nathan Drake. <laughs> that was a, yeah, that was a, she does. We didn't Choice. want her to be as brawly as Drake. She uses her body weight more when she takes down a guy and slams his head into, uh, into a vent, whatever that Air AC conditioning. vent thing is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we had to rethink her kind of fighting style. We wanted all the melee moves to be different. So yeah, the animators um, kind of rethunk and recaptured a lot of all that stuff. So she has her own personality when she's fighting. That's great. Um, you know, I, we keep talking about this trailer. I think we should show it again. Can we, yeah. can we show it again? Yes. Sure. Awesome. Let's see if the guys in the back can make that happen. I think we have a, we have a shorter version of it here. Uh, let's see if they get that, that wound up. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, this, is, this is a big moment for you guys. This is, uh, it's, it's big. It's big. Well, not as big as Uncharted 4. Not as bigger than, than yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a, it's a good si it's a good size adventure, and everybody's going to, I think, going to be uh, surprised at how much content there is. Uh, yeah. Really excited. Yeah. That's great. Uh, now, coming back to our, to our talent here, um, what is the, the sort of difference uh, from like an acting perspective, directing perspective? What's that dynamic like? Uh, I'm sure some of you folks have worked with uh, Mr. Neil Druckmann and Bruce Straley. Uh, how do you see uh, this team? You know, what's it like working with this team? How does that contrast? <laughs> okay. What nice. a bunch of... No, they're amazing. <laughs> Are you kidding? They're, they're just so wonderful. It's so much fun every day on set. Yeah, it's a, I think what I noticed when I first entered the Uncharted family was what they prioritize. So for a performer to know that you're the surprise and the delight of knowing you're going to be working with people and yet you kind of forget because you get a bit jaded in the business or it's just, you know, the hours subsume the sort of the, the joy of things. And every day is, is about how can we make this easy? How can we make this fun? How can we make it interesting? They never, ever, ever lose sight of who they're making it for. So they're so heavily motivated by what they think is going to be entertaining for the fans and the people playing the games. Um, and they keep encouraging us to interact in ways that make it organic. And I think they really led the way in a lot of ways when I was starting getting into games for making it as real and surprising and interactive as possible. So being able to sort of bring in theater as an actor, it's sort of theater, film, television, and voice work all in one, yeah. and then some other sort of medium that it creates on its own because of all the elements it brings into play. And so being with these guys, it's, they value your input, they, they really listen, and I think it's a real hallmark aspect of the way they make games, that they, when you create something that's so story and character focused, people are gonna start demanding that certain stories be told you know, or be finished in a certain way, or that certain characters have, have more, uh, more of a chance to play out their stories. Yeah, it is really rare that you get to, surprisingly rare, to get to work on a project and get really invested in the character that you're playing and, and feel passionate about the story. Yeah. And any time we get to work with Naughty Dog, it's, I mean, you guys blow everything out of the water. <laughs> it's insane. I agree with that. <laughs> I have gotten a note from my producer. Let's check out that trailer one more time. I want to see it again. Let's check it out.
targets. One was the warehouse, the other... You're in the wrong place, girl. What the hell? Got you. Nowhere to run. Shit! Back up! Go on for back! No! You're late. I thought you were professional. Oh, you should relax. You'll live longer. I love that. <laughs> Gotta say, you can really feel the bass up here. It's like we're being in a massage chair or something. That was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Only the finest base here at PlayStation Experience. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just seeing that again, um, I still have so many questions. I mean, I don't know how much you guys can talk about, but what's with the, what's with the bombing and there's like this military presence? I mean, what's going on with all that? <laughs> uh, well, our, one of our main antagonists is a insurgent uh, leader, and Chloe and Nadine have to infiltrate his camp. So that's the, basically the, the start of the game them getting their first clue. Mm -hmm. So that's what that all is about. That's all I can say. <laughs> More to be secret, revealed secret. in the not too distant future. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Yeah. Can't, we can't reveal all here. But um, yeah, I, I, I think I caught a mention earlier about perhaps a treasure or, or an artifact of some fashion is at hand here. And that's certainly something that's a hallmark of the, the Uncharted series. So, um, how does that kind of factor in here with, with the game's tone, and, and how does that kind of play a role? Uh, they are looking for a treasure. We can say that, the Tusk of Ganesh. Uh, and it's kind of, you know, deep-rooted in the mythology as well. Uh, so they're on their way to find this tusk. Uh, essentially, they're teamed up, uh, two unlikely uh, teammates. Uh, and, you know, how they interact, how they conflict, Ultimately, how they grow and learn from each other is the, the essence of the story. Mm -hmm. I know that the Uncharted series has kind of, uh, kind of an off-again, on-again relationship with sort of the supernatural, if you will. And I know Uncharted, Uncharted 4 is a little bit more grounded, you know, to use that, to use that word. Um, are you guys uh, approaching a, from a similar perspective with, with the new game, with The Lost Legacy, or is... Uh, are you going to still flirt with the supernatural? Is that still something that's uh, possible here? Uh, the story is pretty grounded. Uh, I'd say the environment and the things you do would be where we explore a little more, but the, the, the basic story is pretty grounded. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's definitely a sense of uh, grandeur and Mystique? discovery of these kind of deep, kind of South Indian locations. and. Uh, just capturing that, you never know. Uh, the story is very grounded, but you never know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. I have nothing to add. We like to keep <laughs> we like to keep things close to our vest when it comes to this stuff, right? You know, save save as many surprises as humanly possible. Mm -hmm. But like these guys said, you know, we're going to be continuing the fine tradition of like exploring these uh, fantastical, uh, otherworldly locations that uh, are sort of hyper-real exaggerations of things that exist in real life and the kind of places you would just love to explore and scamper around <laughs> and uh, continuing that tradition. Are we going to talk about how we find out Nadine is an alien? Let's, let's get into that right now. Okay. That was actually my next question, yeah. What's that? What was it? <laughs> You're like, what did you say? Very grounded. <laughs> Far. Very grounded. I would love to talk way. about that. Let's yeah. talk about that. <laughs> yep. Looking at the physical performance that we were looking at there in the trailer, um, it, the, the physicality of the characters, I think, is really interesting. We talked a little earlier about how it's such a, a, a contrast from Drake. But um, tell me a little bit about how you pull off moves like that. Are you guys actually uh, rigged up in the performance capture suit doing those things? Or? We, are, we are in the performance capture suits. Um, we don't do any of the crazy fighting, though. Um, if you saw our amazing moves, 
you would understand why. <laughs> Too uh, dangerous. <laughs> we're we're going to release some of them on the internet a bit later exactly. today. <laughs> Yeah. Um, no, yeah, uh, it's, it's all, it's, it's like what Claudia was saying, it's this mixed thing of theater and film and voiceover all at the same time, and it's, it's a crazy stage that we, we film in. There was, a, there was something that really surprised me, a couple of shows I've worked on, and, and this is, you know, no exception, where, where the decision has been made that when someone when someone gets hit, it hurts, so that there's an element of reality and heart in the story that you're telling. And there was this moment where we were sitting, filming a scene from Uncharted 2, and I, Claudia, who was born pigeon-toed, was sitting like this. And I assumed that the table we were sitting at, you wouldn't be able to see Chloe's legs, and I was just sort of in character from here up like a newsreader. You know, you imagine they're probably wearing their board shorts underneath the suit and the jacket that, you know, the audience is. And so Chloe was sitting, well, I was sitting like this, and they kept it in the game. And I said to Amy Hennig afterwards, you know, my God, why didn't you put in the superhero feet for someone who actually <laughs> knows how to walk straight? And she said, because it's utterly endearing, and I think a great part of Chloe, because if you push the superhero element too much, you lose the real texture of the game in terms of who these people really are. So she, she's sort of like me. She's not really trained in a particular martial art, but she could probably win a fight if she was in the right mood and had something that was worth fighting for. Um, and those details make this world really interesting. I think, I think it's an interesting topic, actually, how... how what are you saying? <laughs> they, they love you. I love you, too. <laughs> in a really boundaried, health and safety <laughs> way, safe way. I'm curious how actors view um, gaming performances, especially on the scale that Naughty Dog delivers, uh, and, and kind of what that's like compared to like theater or, or film or TV. What is that like for you? Do you approach that differently? I think it's all approached from kind of the same place. Um, it's imagination. I mean, yeah. actors get squashed. Their imaginations get squashed in a lot of environments, and here you're required to have it. So that was the real audition, is can they bring this environment to life. Right. It's freeing, but it's also more difficult because so much if you're doing film, so much of what you can react to is in front of you. You're reacting to your clothes. You can move, and it, it becomes part of your character. Um, and with this, because we are in those fabulous spandex outfits, <laughs> um, you have to constantly have that in your mind of what you're actually looking like and what you're reacting to because so much of it is just a, a big gray box that you're in. And so when you get people in the scene with you that you get to act with, like Claudia, it becomes so grounded. Right. It's weird. I mean, there are logistics with the suit too because it's Velcro and so certain parts will get stuck and you sort of, it's quite a funny pantomime in the change room trying to <laughs> get into the suit because you keep sticking to yourself. Your binoculars are just wire chicken Yeah, chi yeah. yeah chicken, chicken wire, wire. And then that are Velcroed to your suit. Right. <laughs> And the camera as well, because now these guys have, you know, got the, the camera arm on the helmets themselves so they can get more detail and face capture. That also creates logistical issues when you're, <laughs> I think when I tried to do the binoculars, I kept bashing into myself. But um, some of that stays in the game, some of it doesn't. Um, but it's, uh, it's interesting to see now with technology how much it's improved even in, over the last sort of eight years because you get a screen that shows all of the performers in the volume, which is the, sort of like the stage, and where they're moving in time and space. And it, in the beginning, it used to be stick figures that would just show dots that represented the dots that were on our suits capturing our bodies. Now you can get an almost, well, it's not perfectly rendered, these guys would, I'm sure, attest to, but a very <laughs> realistic depiction of your character and how they are moving in the space and a person's body signature, the subtleties of how someone moves isn't detected, I think, by, certainly not by my eyes. And sometimes when you're watching on the screen, aspects of the character come to life more fully on the screen, weirdly, than they can in the volume. Not just because of what they're wearing, but the way the computer translates the performer's movement. I can give you an example. There was a woman doing a fight scene, and I thought, it's weird that they've given her this role because she doesn't seem that confident when she fights. But oddly, when you watched it on screen, whatever she was doing was translating far better into Interesting. the... Interesting. It was so bizarre to see that happen. So these guys are like reading The Matrix when they audition us. Huh. Because they're seeing things about us that they know are going to work up there. <laughs> Especially actors who sort of walk in pigeon-toed and end up becoming an action heroine. 
<laughs> That's fascinating. What do you guys think about that? I mean, sort of this, this mocap, well, we used to call it mocap, now we call it performance capture because it's audio and it's, it's, it's physical as well. Um, how, how does that, how have you guys seen that sort of evolve as you've worked on, on the various Naughty Dog games? Uh, it's gotten incredibly advanced in the last few games. I mean, even the, the facial capture is so much more detailed. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw we can almost get one-to-one. -one. Uh, it's, it's pretty incredible. Like, we get nuances on her performances or their performances that we wouldn't have expected. Uh, even so that we've started shooting our camera reference data differently, going in closer, because stuff you would miss, let's say, on a wider camera or a full body camera, you get a lot more uh, intimate with the characters and see these nuances you may have just glanced over, like a, a wince or a wink or some sort of like reaction to hearing some news. We get all that data, so yeah, I feel like very detailed. When we first started, one of my first mocap gigs I ever did was so broad because it, it was more theatrical. You had to, it, it wouldn't read these small eye movements that you're doing, and now it's yeah. it's so cinematic. Everything, little tiny subtle things, reads. It's incredible. Yeah. And yeah, the I technology. Mean, Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say. I mean, one of the things that we was very important to us from the very very first Uncharted was that we wanted to sort of make sure that we were capturing both the uh, body and the voice together, which seems like an obvious thing to do, especially now, but back when we started this 10 years ago, you were having people hire celebrity voice actors who would record in a booth. They'd play that audio back on stage for some random stunt performers who would then just gesticulate to it, and that's why you have all these old games where people are saying, like, hey, what are you doing? I'm getting paid to move around, and, you know, that's, it's just, yeah, it was ridiculous. So even from the very beginning, it was important for us to do that, and that's just evolved over the last decade up to the point we are now where we use, like Sean was saying, face capture and capturing cameras on set, so. Give me an example. I keep hearing about these, these tiny details you wouldn't even notice that actually make a, a big difference. I mean, can you give me, like, a surprising example of that, like... I would say if you got, let's say the actors are doing their thing and there's a piece of information, let's say we changed the line on a particular actor and the other actor was not expecting it, uh, that reaction that you can't recreate of oh, hearing something new, it's just a subtle eye movement or, interesting. you know, it's, those are the things that you live for, you know, when you get that type of reaction, it's very real, very honest. Uh, yeah. That stuff we couldn't capture a few years ago, and now we're getting it. Yeah, I mean, one of my, awesome. uh, one of my favorite scenes in Uncharted 4, uh, okay, I'll say my second favorite scene, because my first favorite is a spoiler, but my second favorite scene is when uh, <laughs> Nate and Elaine are just at home on the sofa having dinner together, and uh, just some of the little things, like, they're picking up straight from the actors, like Nate asks Elena how her day is, and Emily Rose, when she's doing it, does this little thing where like her eyes roll up, she like twiddles her hair a little bit and things like that. And just little things like that make it so much more human uh, than what you tend to see in a lot of uh, animation uh, just on its own. And then of course our incredible animation team then like goes in and like makes sure all the uh, little nuances are sold and makes it look fantastic. Yeah. It's, it's weird that things have to be discussed. When you're in a play, you can talk about, you can do script analysis, you can talk about what the character's motivations are, and then once the curtain goes up it's, and you've rehearsed it, it's pretty much, it's in the hands of the actors, but these guys have to, I mean, case in point, this, this trailer itself is very nuanced and very ambient and atmospheric. There's not a lot of dialogue, obviously, and so this, this lives and dies on the, this character's reaction to its environment and, you know, what we pick up as the audience watching it about the level of safety and, you know, what's going on and, the, you know, who is she communicating with. Um, when Sean said to me on set, we're going to have a moment where your eyes will just come to the side and uh, we'll be able to tell from your expression a number of things. And I remember thinking at the time, but this is computer generated. How much detail are we really going to get from mm -hmm. that moment? And because the technology is so much more advanced than it used to be, you really, I really did see that detail. I really did see those nuances that they'd promised. And it takes a real leap of faith for the actors working in the virtual realm because we're told there's going to be a big scary monster over here, so I want you to react and scream. And back in the day before we really had great computer-generated imagery, it might not even be where you were looking. They might have popped it over there and you look really, which has happened to me, rather foolish. So it's amazing how advanced this has become that we can deliver things with fewer words and sometimes things are, have had to be overwritten to convey the same ideas. 
that it's a crazy world, you know, the fact that if these guys want to see um, takes that they've filmed, they can bring a, a device onto the volume and replay the takes in the context That's of the so screen. That's so crazy. And point it. It's like being in a room full of ghosts because I can now point it. There you are at the moment. There you guys are. Here's Laura. And then five minutes later, you might not be there. And if I play that take, you've disappeared. But as I walk around the room, I'm going to confront you where you were during that take. And it just blows my mind that you, in the virtual space that, that we can sort of interact that way and make editing choices as well from that technology. It's wild. It's fascinating. I've, I've actually been blessed uh, to check out Naughty Dog's recording studio. Now, this is probably, oh, this is on the lead up to Uncharted 3, I think. So, I mean, you guys have probably made some leaps and bounds by uh, since then. But um, if you had to put on your, uh, or gaze in your crystal ball, where do you think this is all going to go? I mean, or, or what are some things you'd love to see uh, added in the future when it comes to this, this incredible cutting edge performance capture you guys are capable of? I think it's going to get better and better. I mean, we've already started to import digital sets, uh, shoot almost as if we're shooting live action. Interesting. Uh, the camera, the cinematography is going to get more advanced. Uh, so you could actually s set it up like it were a live shoot. shoot. Uh, one for one is ideal. So we'd like to get exactly what we shot into the computer, cut as if it were live, live action footage. It's amazing. Yeah, I mean, what I'd love to see is just, uh, we only just started using uh, face capture on Uncharted 4, and one of the reasons we hadn't been using it before is because it was cumbersome and clunky, and while it's uh, getting considerably less, though, I think we and the uh, actors are also looking forward today that we can do face capture without you know, a giant honking camera sticking out in front of their face uh, and like uh, green dots and everything, and we'll get there eventually, but uh, you know, is little steps at the time. We sort of take for granted uh, where we are now sometimes and think about what we had before, and it just keeps getting better and easier to do every year. I'd love to see costumes more, like having to wear the suit. You, uh, there's like these things you see in film where an actor can adjust their jacket or play with their hair or something where when you're wearing the full suit, you can't really get a natural thing. You have to really think ahead and plan for it. Mm -hmm. so. Whoever's inventing that stuff, <laughs> make it better, close. <laughs> we had to have, a, Josh and I had to have a discussion on set when, in Uncharted 2 when I was doing a scene with Noel and I reunite with him in a hotel room and I'm sort of seducing him and I run my fingers up his chest and there was this pause and I was like, what's happening? Have I done, you know, is my work <laughs> terrible? I'm about to get fired. And they came back and they said, look, we really love this choice. And I'm like, oh, wow, they're talking about just a motion that I did with my hands and my fingers. Is that out? Can I not do that? And they said, we really love it. It's just has to be hand animated. It's not, you haven't got the markers on your fingers, so oh. the computer's not going to pick this up. Oh. So they had to have a conference about it and decide whether it was going to be the, worth the time and effort that these poor people were going to have to put in to bring that to life. And they chose to go for it because of, totally the, because of the added value. And to think that someone has to hand animate something that I've just done, you know, instinctively as a performer, it's, it's wild how much reverence we now have to have for what it takes to then deliver your choices. Mm -hmm. yep. It was totally worth the effort. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing now, we actually oh, yeah, can right. capture fingers. Oh, you can? So, yeah, it's gotten there. Do you put the little green balls on there? Or? We have well, one on our index and yeah. our pinky and one on our thumb, right? Now yes. we do. Yeah, yeah, Back yeah. in the old days. days. Yeah. Luxury. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That's great. Well, uh, I mean, just an incredible day here overall. What, I, I want to ask you guys while I got you all here, what did you think of uh, The Last of Us Part Two? What did you think of that? Now that that's finally out there. It's amazing. <laughs> what, what did you guys think? <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of new tech. It's pretty promising. We're excited about it. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. I mean, there's a whole panel on it later today. <laughs> there so. is. There is a panel on it a little later today. I'm just glad there's no more secrets for us. <laughs> we don't have to, like, and say we're, oh, we're working on this thing. I can't talk about it. Now it's, like, it's all out there. It's a relief, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to worry about leaking it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have, you, uh, have you guys uh, had any experience with uh, Troy and Ashley on the, on the Last of Us side? Have you met them? Well, they're just my best friends. That's all. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've known about that for a while, and oh it was my. really hard. 
Um, yeah, it, 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 it's really exciting. It's really exciting for them. They're both amazing, and they're going to do ridiculous things. Ridiculous oh, things. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I was just crying backstage about it. It's so good. Awesome. So uh, before we go, just any final thoughts here? We have Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, a uh, really powerful start to PlayStation experience here. You guys literally kicked off the entire show. Any final thoughts here before we sign off? It's coming uh, out in 2017. Uh, yeah. 2017? 2017. I guess just thank you to all the fans who've made Uncharted the big success that it's been. Uh, thank you for embracing Uncharted 4 and, uh, you know, we're going to make this the uh, best damn uh, Chloe and Nadine experience you can possibly imagine, so it's going to be awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yep. 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 Uh, we're hoping it's going to be a sum of all the, all the stuff that you loved in Uncharted, all the Uncharted. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it, pretty excited. And I would like to thank the team at Naughty Dog for the hard work. Uh, those guys kicked ass. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> sure do. <laughs> Definitely long nights on that trailer. I mean, you could go through that demo, and just like every Naughty Dog thing, it's every person just putting 110% in. There's the little physics-based uh, curtains on, or the, the clothes on the rooftop that you walk through that are fully dynamic and simulated. <laughs> and you know, there's someone that really cares passionately about that. And uh, I wondered about those sheets. I was like, somebody <laughs> put a lot of thought into that. Yeah. All real time. <laughs> no, we're, we're very, very fortunate to be able to work at a company that like not only believes strongly in story and character, but is also capable on executing it to such a high degree of uh, polish and care. You know, it's really, we're all very fortunate. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got the best team we could possibly you. have working on it. Thank you. Best guys in no business. Thank you for Chloe. <laughs> thank you. In, uh, thank you in for in Chloe. A, <laughs> yeah, thank you for Chloe. Thank you for loving Chloe. Thank you yes. for giving me this one who's just a blissful joy to work with. <laughs> It's a joy to turn up, honestly, a joy and a privilege to turn up every day for work. I never know what's going to happen. I know there's going to be a lot of laughter and fun, and we work hard, but it's, you know, not really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> everyone back at Naughty Dog works extremely hard. We, we play and bring it to life and try to do it justice, but yeah. um, if it wasn't for you guys, there'd be nothing to make. So I'm really humbly, humbly grateful. Yes. What she Thank said. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, what she said. Whatever. <laughs> And Chloe talks like this in the game. It's a real improvement on the character. Totally. It's just going to be like this. It's like a major time. spoiler, but there you have it. You're welcome. <laughs> it's a real adjustment and an improvement, don't you think? <laughs> it's a challenge. I understand okay. what I'm saying. It's awesome. Yeah, so Stars in India ends up in San Fernando Valley, so, you know, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, the technology is so advanced now that Chloe can twirl her hair for like ever. <laughs> Which all has to be hand animated, by the way. Right, yeah. yeah. But who cares, right? <laughs> I don't have to do it. <laughs> Outstanding, guys. It's been so much fun chatting with you here, talking about Uncharted Lost Legacy. Thank you, everybody, for uh, <laughs> listening in, watching from note. all over the internet. Yes. PlayStation.